Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show you how to publish your MATLAB work and then either upload it or print it out manually on the printer. So we'll go ahead and open up the MATLAB and get things started. Uh, let's see, I'll go ahead and open up the class website too. While we're at it, so here's MATLAB, here's the class website. So if we go down to, for example, the stuff we did on Friday, we have a couple of different examples. Um, here, for example, the vendor example.m, we have some example data here. So let me go ahead and copy and paste this so we have something to work with. And in MATLAB, you should be working with your editor. So go ahead and type in edit. And then when you uh, paste your MATLAB code in, you'll see that it's separated every time there's a double percentage sign which is nice and also if you want to put in comments and you should comment to talk about the solutions that you get uh, just use a percentage sign on the line so this is a comment here okay and when you're finished uh, go ahead and save it of course here I'll just save it to my home directory I've already got this example here but I'll go ahead and overwrite it Okay, and so when you're finished, go to the Publish tab, and over to the right here you see the Publish button, and go ahead and hit Publish, and you'll see that MATLAB is actually executing all of its commands, and then it puts everything into a web browser. From this web browser, you can hit the printer, and so you can open the page in your system browser. Uh, now I should say that I've been having a little bit of trouble with Firefox. Um, but uh, up here on the line, on the address line, you can see where this file is. So if you have trouble, you can go directly to this file. Okay, so if I close this down, I can open up my home directory and then find the HTML folder. And in the HTML folder, here's the uh, HTML file. Okay, so then you can double click that, and in this case, I've got uh, Chrome as my browser window. And Chrome is a little bit easier to work with, so if I go to print, I want to save as PDF. Okay, and then you just save. And so I'll just save it as example1.pdf. Here, I'll just save it under my downloads. So if I save that in my downloads folder, I can now go to my downloads folder and my work should all be there. So if I go to my downloads folder, I'll see the work that I just saved. And so it's all here. And so this is the file that you can either print off, you can email it to me, you can upload it to your Clio folder. Uh, I think I would prefer you, pre I would prefer it if you uploaded it to your Clio folder, just so we both have access uh, to your work. Okay, and then I can, it's a little bit easier to keep track of. But if you can't do that or if you're having any trouble, just go ahead and manually print it off, uh, sign it under my office store, or send me an email if you have trouble. So be sure and get started on the problems early enough so that you can ask if you do have any uh, trouble. So good luck on the final exam, and I will see you later.